John, you know, this is your fourth fight in the UFC. You came up short every single time, and then you return with a first round knockout. I mean, how do you feel? Could it, could it have gone any better than this? Uh, I don't think it could. I think it's the uh, best feeling in the world. And like I said, probably the happiest day of my life to date. And I wasn't coming away without that knockout. And how did you envision the fight going in? Were you imagining like a three round war? I always, I always imagined a three round war. I always imagined a three round war. I always think I've got 15 minutes to put the guy away. I don't want to, you know, after my last fight, I don't want to leave anything to the judges. I want to make sure that every time I fight, they go to sleep. You know, that, going back to, to the last fight, what did you learn from that? Was there anything that you took away and that maybe helped you? Yeah, don't don't leave it to the judges. And, and I, I know the judging is one of the hardest jobs out there, not having a, a dig at anyone, but I think it's my fighting style anyway, if you look back at my career, I never try to leave it to the judges at the, the last fight. I felt there was so much on the line that um, I fought more technically than than I normally normally would. And this fight, I had nothing to lose, so I was gonna, you know, go in for the kill. So, were you feeling the pressure going into this one, thinking that you know you might not be back again? If yes, yeah, you always feel the pressure. It's always a roller coaster, you know. But I just knew I had to come and put hands in him. And like I said, it was just it was my night tonight. There was no way I was gonna lose this fight. He was about to kill me. And you know, it just weren't happening. It just, option was uh, losing was not an option. And you're the second Welshman to to win tonight. Yeah, uh, that's what great. was the you know support like inside the octagon for you? Yeah, you know, support is always great, no matter where you go, and especially you know the UK. Everyone, eh? as long as you you show up and fight, it doesn't matter what nation. Every nation is behind you because they know that we put it on the line every time when we we show up to fight. And so this fight, it would feel like it was over in the blink of an eye, like we're all sitting there with our laptops editing and then you know, we start hearing it. What went through your mind as the fight was going on as he hit him with that big shot? Um, I come out expecting him, to, well I was going to do the same as well, I was going to faint to see if he was going to go for the takedown. I was expecting him to punch and then try and take down, or wait to be the punch and try and take down. And I charged forward, so for yeah, happy days. <laughs> And this is a fighter, Abmodovsky is a guy who also generally prefers to stand up, yeah, and sort of caters to your style. He's a good striker. Is there a, another type of fighter with sort of a similar style who you'd be interested in facing? I'm happy to fight anyone on the, on the, roster, on the roster, but I'd love to fight Jack Marshman again and put that one right. Um, do you think it's about time that the UFC goes to Wales? <laughs> of course it is. Come on, come to Wales, we don't fight <laughs> much. How amazing would that be? Oh, it'd be fantastic, you know, and we got a great, you know, we, we, we're growing all the time, we've got great fighters coming out of Wales, you know, and, you know, you imagine we've got Brett Johns, Jack Shaw, Jack Marshall, myself, there's four of us on the card, and I'm sure they'll draft a few more in, in very shortly, you know. Did you see Jack Shaw's fight? Though? Yeah, uh, I only seen the finish, uh, I, we come over a little bit later than Jack, but I only seen the finish, and I was ecstatic for him, he's a really nice kid. Yeah. I've seen him grow and develop through the years, and even though me and Jack, Marshman have got a little bit of rivalry. I still like Jack. I still like his team. They're great guys, and I've I've, I've come up through the ranks with with their, with their team as well. So to see him get a win tonight, I was you know I was as happy as as I am for him. You know. How are you going to celebrate tonight's win? Oh, you don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> that hard, huh? <laughs> no, I'm just gonna just gonna go back. My my auntie and my cousin has flown over and a few of my friends, so I'm gonna go and celebrate with them, have a nice meal or something, and chill out and. Um, Say hi to my girlfriend back home, and uh, it was my dog's second birthday yesterday, so happy birthday, Betty. And, uh, <laughs> and when do you want to get back in your cage again? Because obviously you didn't take a whole Straight lot of Straight away, that was, that was the plan, obviously. Moscow, maybe? Um, whenever they want me, man, I'm ready to go. Yeah, I'm ready. I just want to, I feel better all the time, even for my boxing days when I'm active and I'm ticking over all the time. I'm not having six months between fights to get unfit and when I'm taking over all the time I've constantly got fighting on my mind and I'm not worried about anything else so I'd like to be active and get straight back in there. Do you think you deserve the bonus tonight? I think it's up to them who deserves it, you know, I'd be honoured to have it and but you know the show is still there's still some great fights going on and still can maybe be some great stoppages so, so who knows I'm sure whoever gets it deserves it. John, um, a couple of years ago we saw Jack Marshall and Brett Johns out in Belfast both got wins, a bantamweight in the middleweight. Yeah. Tonight we got a bantamweight in the middleweight, Welsh guys getting wins. How much yeah. does that mean to you, Bradley, like with Jack tonight? It's great, mate. It's absolutely fantastic, and it's a fantastic night for Welsh MMA. So, yeah, it's absolutely great. The more people I can see come from Wales, uh, 
means more Welsh kids are actually looking up to us and thinking, hold on, I can do this if these can do it. It's just fantastic. And we have, you know, we have bags of talent in Wales, just they don't get that opportunity and they think that it's so far away, you know, to get you. But when they actually see us Welsh fighters on there, they're like, oh, hold on, you know, I've seen this guy down the shopping mall. Maybe I can, I can do what he can do, you know? So, yeah, it's, it's fantastic. And like, obviously we spoke about the US, a UFC card coming to Wales, they're actually building a new arena in Cardiff now which would seem to cater for it size wise. Obviously that's something that you would look forward to and really welcome to the country. You'd have to kill me to stop me fighting in there. <laughs> hey John, Thanks guys. Thank you. Thank you.